from Birmingham. I'm Christy. And I'm Dia. And we are doing the Qualitative Election Study of Britain 2015. And other than tired, how are we doing? Good. And tired. Yeah. Really tired. It's been intense, but yeah. but we're keeping up. We haven't collapsed yet. It's a lot of travel. We've, like It's literally been every single day since Cardiff. We've been doing stuff. And today, the bulk of it was traveling from Dundee to Birmingham. But with the internet, we got a lot done on the train uh, and a lot of things to talk to you guys about. So let's get going. Mm. And maybe the first thing we should first talk about in time-wise is Birmingham. Yeah, and I have one question. What's up, Birmingham? Yeah, Birmingham. Oh, come like, on. Totally like, give, like giving us the, um, what do you call it, you blank someone. Yeah. Birmingham blanked us. Yeah, totally. So <clears throat> why don't you tell the, the whole story? Yeah, so um, as as we do with all the QESP focus groups, the first thing, of course, is uh, recruitment and logistics. And the logistics went great because, again, we had a really good local contact who arranged everything for us and made all the decisions and made the made life very easy for us. So thank you, Stephen. Yeah, Stephen Bates at Birmingham. Awesome, great, very helpful. The flip side of it was <laughs> this was the worst, hardest place place to recruit it was just nothing yeah nothing uh, not we even... tried everything and more we uh, we christy sent out i don't know how many press releases yeah we um, sent out press releases all over birmingham yeah we tweeted i put up uh even paid three quid for an ad on a local thing we did craigslist looked into gumtree but gumtree is way too expensive yeah um, um we tweeted um at least 10 or 15 times a day uh, and we targeted uh, people so we just didn't tweet in general but we we had a lot of uh, targeted tweeting asking people to retweet us uh, and it was we didn't get retweeted hardly I think just two or three people must have retweeted us which is completely different to what happened in Dundee and Cardiff um, we we had the small ads being sent out to the university mm -hmm. and we had very little give from that mm -hmm. um, we did get somebody from a news channel who wanted to talk to us, but then when we said we were not on the ground, that fizzled out as well. Mm -hmm. So I think in the end, we ended up ma with barely 10, 15, I yeah. would say 15 or candidates. maybe even 20 candidates. Yeah. And we, we initially wanted to have two focus groups in Birmingham, but we decided this is just not going to work. Yeah, it was just too hard. It was too, it was like pulling teeth. So we decided to basically to try to make the best of the situation. And instead of trying to fill two focus groups, we decided to just dump everyone into a larger one and do a moderate it and go maybe a little bit longer. Um, so that's what we've ended up doing. Yeah. And the other problem with the recruitment at the moment is we did not get the constituencies that we wanted. So we have a mix of lots people from lots of different constituencies. Um, and we don't have the two constituencies that we were targeting. Yeah, and the university is in one of the constituencies. Yeah, that we, we still didn't get anybody. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So by comparison, you know, we had over 100 people in Cardiff apply, and we had barely 20 in the entire city of Birmingham. So, yeah. so obviously we don't know what makes Birmingham tick. <laughs> no, we, are no, we don't have our fingers on the pulse of Birmingham. No. At all. Yeah. So, so, so I mean, I think perhaps uh, we need to reflect and think, you know, what else could we have done? Mm -hmm in this kind of a situation. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so we had sort of that bad news, and I guess that would have been like Tuesday or something, mm. where we were realizing how hard it was and how we were just trying to contact even party student organizations and, and party people in the area and just getting blanked and nothing and, you yeah. know, talk to the hand. Uh, so we decided to re... Well, um, while this was going on, I, we looked back in our documentation from my 2010 study and we uncovered a bunch of emails from people who had participated in 2010 who had been in the Essex County area and had participated on, in the University of Essex located groups that I'd done. So we went, it'd be amazing if we could get a couple of these people back, but we're not sure are the emails even going to be active? Well, let's try it. So we sent out, uh, the next day I sent out a big a blanket email saying, if you remember me, I'm Christy, you participated in my study in 2010, and we're doing it again in 2015, if we really love to have you back. And maybe half of the addresses bounced back as invalid, and the rest of them didn't. 
And literally within 24 hours, we had eight people. We had a whole focus group of yeah. people from 2010 who yeah. were like, yeah, sign me up, I'll come. And yeah. even one woman who, she couldn't come uh, because of her, her life had changed and she'd moved away, but she was really sad that she couldn't come uh, because she would have otherwise said yes. Yeah. So that made us feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it made us think maybe we should be focusing on it uh, on the next round where we yeah. um, could actually use the resources that we had initially planned for Birmingham right. uh, and put them into um, Essex. Uh, and in, in, in fact, Essex, the constituencies that we are looking at have quite interesting dynamics mm -hmm. anyway. And so we might actually be better placed to use you know our resources there. Right. So within where the university is and where we're advertising, there are three constituencies that kind of border on each other, and we're we're getting a pretty good response already. So we mm. we were, we emailed all of our old uh, my old people and had basically everyone basically if, if they got the email they seemed to have said yes. Mm. <laughs> like the retention rate was one guy even said, I was just wondering the other day if your study was going to be on again, and I was hoping to be reinvited, <laughs> and that just made my day. <laughs> it really did. So um, yeah, we have those eight basically guaranteed. And we're starting to get a really nice spread from the Heritage in North Essex and Clacton and Colchester. Uh, Colchester. And the other thing that we're doing is we're having a focus group in Clacton in order to kind of have home field advantage because it is a bit of a ways. And we wanted to make sure that we had, uh, because that's where UKIP and the Conservatives will be going head to head. And that's probably, I mean, outside of like our SNP versus Labour dynamic, Conservative versus UKIP is probably the other really big dynamic that mm -hmm. we were worried about not capturing. Yeah. And we're getting enough people now. I mean, our aim is to, I think my base aim is to have eight people per constituency. So at least 24 uh, people in each constituency in a focus group. Because mm -hmm. I think that would be, and if they're that kind of representative, you know, sort of broad spread of people, then I'd, I'd feel like we'd really kind of made up for Birmingham. Yeah. In a lot and of then ways. we could have the leaders debate and, and hopefully in addition to that, the panel from 2010. So that's five yeah. focus groups that we are thinking of doing in Colchester. Initially, we had thought of four, but then the extra one from Birmingham could yeah. hopefully easily fit in the Colchester Essex dynamic. Yeah, we basically kind of shifted that Birmingham one to the panel. And yeah. with that really positive response, the next thing is we're going to, I have also have from Strathclyde and we're going back to Glasgow. So given the positive Colchester response, mm, uh, we're going to send out to people who participated in the 2010 study at Strathclyde because we'll be back at the same location. So hopefully we'll have as positive a response. And it also means in a lot of ways less recruiting cold for us, which also helps because it's a lot of time and effort mm. to tweet and to create these press releases, mm. uh, send all these things out, create the forms for people to mm. apply online. We really need assistance. We need mm. like a student assistant next time because we're our own web designers and media consultants and we're our own travel arrangements, <laughs> bookers, and we yeah. have to conduct the study as well. Yeah. Um, so it's it's been very intense a few yeah. days, but it's been paying off. Yeah. 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 What else about Birmingham that we need to talk about? Uh, before the was a recruitment. The recruitment was a hard thing. My camera turns off automatically after 30 minutes, so we're going to take a pause, and I'm going to pause my camera and come back so we don't get cut off. And we're back. So, um, yeah, we're just talking about what else needs to get... What else do we need to discuss do? about Birmingham? Because um, everything else remains the same. Yeah. The main issue was the recruitment. We are not changing anything. Well, we for did the post. For the, for the pre. Oh yeah, for the post, we are not coming, doing, back. coming back to, no. You didn't <laughs> love us, Birmingham. <laughs> you didn't love us enough to get a second yeah. visit. It just doesn't financially for us make sense to come back because if we have nine people, we'd have to do 100% retention. Mm. And the, the amount of travel and the overnight, we're better off with the 10 grand that we have to work with to go uh, deeper into the people in Scotland, England, and Wales that we already have, mm. including any panel people that we have. And that way, instead of those nine spaces or eight spaces can then be added to the pre-post data set. So we yeah. decided to make that um, calculation. And next time we'll, I mean, if they have another, you know, if we do another election study in five years, we can think a little bit about uh, where in the north we want to be and why. Maybe we'll have a different theoretical guiding question in five years' time. But considering that our concern is about marginality of districts, mm as long as we have the open seats and the incumbents and the safe, the two and three way marginals, mm. then theoretically we've got enough data to meet our requirements. Mm. Yeah.
I and agree. But before I said post, you had one other thing. No. No. Okay. Other than oh that, yeah. The sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The thing that I had was the the question that we changed. Um, while we were discussing it on the train, but then that's just a small thing. You yeah, don't have to discuss that. we decided um, to try to um, get some better wording on our introductory question about picking up people's perceptions of the campaigns, because it was a little bit broad in Cardiff. So we're going to tweak with it a little bit uh, to try to get it a bit more precise for the rest of the focus groups mm. going in. And speaking of questions, the BBC completely stole our. Ice oh no, it was, it was Channel 5. Oh, Channel 5 completely stole <laughs> our icebreaker question. Yeah, our selfie question. That was our first thing we tweeted out that night of the leaders debates and who would you have a selfie with? Copycats. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got more. We've got more good questions. Oh, we didn't talk too much. Did we talk about the Coalition theme song? No. Did we give the answers? I don't think so. All right, so um, just so you know, we had an icebreaker question to try to get things going in the focus group and this was at Cardiff. No, no, the, yeah, Cardiff. And we asked people if they had to pick a theme song for the outgoing coalition government, what would it be? And there were sort of uh, four responses. I'll go maybe in, in order. Like The one that was, eh, was sailing, as in sailing away. Sailing takes me away. The other one guy was pretty good. It was uh, stuck in the middle with you. And yeah. who was that? Wheel? Feeling wheel? Yes. So I can't remember. I can't that. remember the name. Yeah, but the the... the... The, f the line in the song which is brilliant is uh, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am. <laughs> Here I am. Stuck in the middle with you. Like Cameron and Clegg to yeah. each other. It was quite good. And somebody else said everybody hurts. Mm. And the other recommendation, the other idea was uh, we're on a road to nowhere. So uh, yeah, coalition theme songs. Doesn't sound like at least our participants are going to miss the coalition government too mm. much. And yeah, tomorrow, uh, Birmingham, it's going to be just the one group. So we'll do a wrap up and let you guys know, even if it was hard to recruit, hopefully we'll have some good participants mm -hmm. and some interesting responses. Mm -hmm. And I guess until then, I'm Christy. And I'm Antia. And we'll see you guys next time we vlog. Bye.